It's your boy and cuz I am your favorite beating fighters, favorite beating fighter thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch me about me. You dig? Man. Now, I, I don't believe the mainstream media, but like when I seen CNN covering the R. Kelly story with a body, excuse me, a body language reader, I'm like, yeah, this nigga's doomed. Now, Puffy has a third accuser coming out saying that he, they sexually assaulted him. Or, them this time is actually a male uh i guess the former president of bad boy entertainment weirdo looking dude saying that puffy did all type of weird shit to him like it just makes you question that drink champ episode when he was with jada kiss and fabulous and puffy's like you know why you don't ever let me throw a birthday party for you we don't party for your birthday like like the whole the whole scenery was just weird and everybody just felt bad for Fabulous and we 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 made fun of it, we mocked it, but we didn't really know the depths and, and the darkness really behind what Puffy was saying because Puffy's a sick individual. I know we've had questions and there's been all type of him being accused of all type of shit, but we just never had the answers. But now all of a sudden people's coming out. And what I find funny is this Casey girl. Now, I went and watched an interview with Aunt Glizzy. Man, I'm never ever gonna say this again in my life, but shout out to Aunt Glizzy for that fucking awesome segment of him explaining how this motherfucker held Wale over a balcony like should night held motherfucking vanilla ice. Like he, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the story kind of made sense, you know. Normally people send their features over and they just record them. And I guess at that point, it was very rare that people were doing in-studio features. No, it wasn't common, but like, people was on the go, so you know, they didn't really have time, but he was telling the story how Kat, this girl basically was being followed by somebody that, that Puffy had hired. Cause Puffy, he, he strikes you as that sicko that had to pay somebody to, to you know, tr trail you and find you every whereabouts like he 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 seemed like he's a very possess possessive individual like sicko sicko but continue with the story he's like you know Wale showed up to to the location and then all of a sudden all you seen was a whole bunch of security and then boom 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 homie done had him dangling all over the roof like 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 New Jack City <laughs> it'd be like that but yeah, Anglis, he, he he's definitely a weirdo, so I'm definitely never going to say that again. But, you know, he's giving a story about him and Shot Glizzy being there, yada, yada, yada. Puffy's just a crazy motherfucker, but we known this. We known this. All right. From back in the days with the J-Lo situation, Puffy was the one shooting in the club. Puffy. Who took the charge? Sean did. So that's why niggas really ain't really fuck with Puff like that, but like, Puff has always been a grimy individual. A motherfucker with money and power is a dangerous motherfucker. A coward with money and power is a dangerous motherfucker. But he, like he always said, he'll put a bag in your head. It probably won't be him, but it'll be some killers come up to your door and then, you know, how the rest go. But like, damn, Puffy. And there's always been stories of him having this little gay sex dungeon and 10 little boys trapped down there. Man, it's just crazy how this lawsuit got settled real quick. Like, he don't want none of his stories coming out of any type of sex trafficking. Like, and that's, that's, and it's sad to say, from really the beginning of the time, these entertainers really be preying on these vulnerable women and vulnerable men. I, I, off topic subject. I, I've seen a segment with Tyler Creator saying he will fuck these bitches just to get to their brothers because their brothers be bigger fans than the sisters. And I'm like, yo, this shit is sick. These industry niggas are sick. But this is the shit we can know. So, yeah, man. If, if these people are indeed victims, I hope they get the justice they're looking for. If not, I wonder what Puff did to, to have these... Uh, 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 Accusations come out on him. They got they got Bill Cosby dipping into the pudding. Like, 
But Puffy look like a type, you know, to be on some controlling type shit. I mean, like you pay for a bitch whole lifestyle. Yeah, you know, bitch, now you're mine. And men, and men, and men. The exciting part is men. We always knew he was infatuated with men. And these industry dudes, they, they, they probably did all type of weird shit to get to the top. Look at his recent situation with French Montana. He's over here like he want to pop out the cake. Marilyn Monroe, happy birthday to you. And these niggas half naked. Like, cuz, why you wake up in the morning singing to me half naked? Like, why are you niggas in the same facility half naked anyway? Where are the bitches? Like, Pops from Boondocks miss the bitches? Where are the bitches? And I wonder... Cause Jada Kiss was definitely quiet at that Gene Tramps interview as as Puffy was talking to 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 Fabulous and Jada Kiss has been around Puffy from the nineties. He's like, yeah, please don't tell none of my stories. Please don't tell none of my stories. Please don't tell none of my stories. He didn't tell none of my stories. He went for the Rastaman. All attention off Jada Kiss. Hmm. I wonder how you became the king of New York. Hmm. Doctor Evil. But yeah, what do you think about this Puffy situation? Crazy, huh? It is spinning out of control. Who would have known? We seen this coming. We seen this coming. We seen this coming. We didn't see it unfolding like this, but we seen, we seen, we knew the stories was gonna come out. Here we are. How many people are you gonna pay off to shut their mouth? Hmm. It's like bite into a center of a tozy pop. The world would never know. <laughs> but if you're new to the channel, don't be subscribed, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, The Revolutionary Cuss Show. That's my, also my Facebook fan page. I got a, a TikTok, Revolutionary Cuss 3, some shit like that. But yeah, dope shit coming your way. Stay tuned. Uh, live podcast coming with Scott Rock Jr. as well as Projects with Little Blood. Shit, your boy still cripping, not tripping. Till next time, smoke for your boy. Chipples. <laughs> Keep rolling. Hit that real quick. Well, if I can tell you how fucked up I am. You ain't even now. I believe you. You've been drinking right. early in the morning. Shh. All right, let's do another video. I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second, one second. Right. Blow smoke that way. Yeah, you good, you Stop it.